Hey, it's me again. Um, I am reviewing the aftermath of Raw last night. What a shitload of fuck. Wow. Oh my god. I am on WWE.com as we speak. I'll show you what's on. Well, anyway. So we've got... Chairman... And who is that? I almost forgot who that was. William Regal. Huh. Another thing. William Regal is the new general manager of Raw. <sighs> he screwed over Sandman last night. Then... Mr. McMahon has another son or daughter. Another Mc... Another McMahon somewhere strolling around in the USA. So, uh... One was bad enough. Two was bad enough. Three was bad enough. And now we've got four. Not including his wife. Um, John Cena's tanking up with Umaga against Orton and Carlito next week. CM Punk has his 15 minutes of fame going on with John Morrison. So. CM Punk's got to win it. He's the future of the industry. He's... CM Punk just got to win the title. King Booker and Jerry the King Lar. Jerry King Lar lost, and now King Booker is being crowned officially at Madison Square Garden next week. So, yeah. Now I'll take into other hands some other subject I'd like to go through. ECW is like the WWE now, since it's with man took over, right? So there's no point on keeping two different shows, WWE and ECW, if they are run by the same damn industry. It's like Raw, SmackDown, and ECW now. It's got no point to it. I don't think just merge ECW. ECW died when Vince took over. So why don't they just merge ECW and WWE together? Because you've got great talent there. You've got awesome talent at ECW. You've got um, Elijah Burke. You've got CM... Well, no, never mind. Um, sorry. Yeah, CM Punk. Um, and anyway, the originals are going to retire soon anyway, so there's no point. ECW isn't extreme anywhere. ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling, I haven't seen that in a while. I haven't seen that in a long time from ECW. Maybe December to this member, but that's it. And that was a pretty crappy match, too. Um, so, did WWE benefit if the... Um, ECW just came on half on SmackDown, half on Raw. They get maybe three. They'd probably get maybe three point zero rating, better than what they have now. Um, yeah. Um, oh yeah, and guess what I heard? A Guerrero isn't dead. Ha! Huh. He faked his death like, um, Vince. One, I also agree with that. It's because it would have been on the news. Like, when Chris Benoit was suicidal and murdered his family. It would have been on the news. It wasn't on the news. Same thing with Vince McMahon. It wasn't on the news. And these two are major, major contributors to the WWE and to sports entertainment. It would have been on the news, but it wasn't. So there's a fact for you folks out there. But um, what I hear is Eddie Guerrero is coming back in 2009 with a mask, not revealing his identity until he gets asked, probably. Um, um, oh yeah, Chris Jericho is filing papers to rejoin the WWE, so it's either he's trying to join the WWE, TNA, ROH, 
ECW, whatever, he's filing papers to get back into the industry. Um, so yeah, and then, I saved the best news for last. P&A, not one. No, not one hour. Two. Two hours. TNA signed a two-hour deal starting as of October 5th for us? No, October 4th or 3rd for us here in, um, well, I'm in Canada, but America and Canada, whatever you want to call us, the northern region. But, um, yeah, so... I'll see you guys back probably tomorrow. Talks about ECW, and I'll see you on Friday or Saturday. I forget which ones. I get I get SmackDown on Thursday, so I'll come on Friday and talk to you guys about. And if I miss it, then I'll come on Saturday. But whatever, I'll talk to you guys either on Friday or Saturday, and tomorrow and yeah, tomorrow. All right, catch you later. Bye.